Hi everybody, happy Vlogmas day six. It is already 7 p.m. and I am just picking up the camera, um, but have a couple of exciting things to do tonight better than just decorating and decorating and talking. So first of all, I'm gonna make some Christmas crack, which is a very easy recipe. And then Libby's going to paint, we're each gonna paint each other holiday decor. Um, and I had a hat on today, forgive me. My hair is like stuck to my head. I look like, I don't know who, which, which three stooges it is, but I'm one of them. Um, and then, yeah, and then we have some funny stories to tell you as we make a craft for each other. So that is on the agenda tonight. So hopefully we're back on the entertainment and not just do 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 do. Here's Vlogmas Day one, two, three. Um, if it gets that way again, I'm gonna stop doing every day because that's just too hard and mundane and so I'll just do the fun things when I can because that's what's fun to me. And hopefully that's what's fun for you to watch. So I guess I need to introduce myself first in case you're new here. This channel is Nani's Next Stag. I am Nani, my name is Sue, but I am Nani to two wonderful children and a grand dog. Well, a few grand dogs, but one in particular because my one son only has a dog. So that is my grand dog, Hazelnut, which has been on this channel before, and then my two grandkids, um, Ben and Savannah. So, which will hopefully be on this channel soon. Hopefully I'll have them over soon for the holidays. So, all right, so I am going to start making Christmas crack. Okay, Here. Libby is starting. Just tell them we are not happy cookers right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not happy cookers right now. Sue is bossy. I saw a little critter. Oh my gosh. Let me, we'll tell you about the other critter. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. We have a story time in a little bit. She's on my last nerve. You laughed. You said it was funny. Not that part. I'm saying the part about cooking. Oh, is my last So, nerve. guys, we have a question for you. There. Good job. We have a question for you. Is there a difference between what side of the foil you use? I know, but there was this. Okay, so see, you could just do this yourself, Miss Crank. I wasn't being cranky, I was just fixing it. <laughs> just controlling, Liv, just controlling. Did you read the directions? Yeah, just line this pan with saltines. You forgot to close that. You forgot to close that. <laughs> Do I put the salt part up or the other part? I would do the other part. Because then your tongue will touch the salt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? But I wouldn't even have thought of that, so you're pretty smart. You just are making me do, uh, make sure I do this, which is the salt side. Watch, I got salt free. No, I didn't. So I'm adding one cup of butter to my saucepan, which is two sticks of butter. And then one cup of brown sugar. Maybe, oh, oh no. 
Well, that's going to make the little critters want more. Firmly packed. There we go. Look at my cute little... Can you see these? My cute little hot pads. I think that's pretty snazzy. And then you stir it, bringing it to a boil, and then you bring it down to a simmer. All right, I'm gonna make it come down to a simmer. And keep stirring. Do you guys have favorite Christmas recipes that you make for Christmas? So, I'm going to do this one-handed. Just lay it out on top. <laughs> there we have <laughs> the beggar. All right. Oh, there's a little more. So in the 90s, I got this cute little snowman spreader free with something. And I have used it ever since. Never had anything that worked any better. So here we go. Make sure the caramel is on every piece, every corner. And the next easy step is take some chocolate, some milk chocolate chips. Put them in a bowl. Then I just put them in the microwave. I'll do 30 seconds and then I just keep going down 30, 20, and then I'll do 10, 10, 10 until they are melted. Bring them out, stir them. Lots of people say to add like coconut oil or milk, a little milk, but I don't. Not much longer.
peppermint in there for the, the little critters. Drizzle it on there. Spread it out. Ready. And then I have pink salt. That I just sprinkle on top. Then you refrigerate that for at least 24 hours and pull it out and break it up. Okay guys, in true Sue fashion, I forgot that once you put the caramel brown sugar concoction on top of the crackers, you bake it in the oven at 400 for five minutes while you're milking the chocolate which then gets the caramel to kind of caramelize around the crackers. So I'm hoping that worked. I am going to make more of this because it's the kid's favorite or one of the kid's favorite um, thing that I make. I don't know how I forgot that step, but I did. And so this is a test run to see if you really do need to bake those. So be announced. <laughs> Off to get the craft stuff ready. Hi guys, we are back with my partner in crime. Aren't you my partner in crime? Sure. <laughs> so we are going to make each other, we're going to paint these for each other. She loves Grinch. She likes snowman. <laughs> you couldn't tell. I guess she might like snow movies too. <laughs> snow people? Yeah. Be snow politically people. correct now? Snow. Snow beans. beans. Huh? <laughs> snow beans. I don't know how to. They might not be. Oh, bean. 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 Yeah. Okay. So. Here. Are you done with those? Yeah. I can mount. Okay. So we are going to start painting and tell a few funny stories. 
Yeah, we're going to jump funny stories on soup. So we'll just hold up every now and again to show you where we're at. Is this white? Uh-huh. But so is this. Well, don't you want to use what's yeah. already open? Yeah. Okay, and we're going to paint the carpet. So which one do you um, paint this one, huh? I don't know. It's your project. That one. I'm looking on the camera. And this one. I think it's this one. So, should I start with my part of the story? Yeah, because <laughs> you'll downplay it. So, and then I'll exaggerate it and it'll be hilarious. <laughs> So you know how I've been complaining that we have little critters. I'm not even on this thing anymore. We have mice in the house and I think we get rid of them. And then I see one. I think we get rid of them and then I see one. And so I'm in my office and I'm talking on the phone to a client and I see something move out of the corner of my eye. And I'm like, oh! But then I see it's just sitting there. So I'm talking, you know, and I'm just watching it. And it is a mouse. Okay, it is a mouse. I can see it. <laughs> and I get off the phone and Libby's on the phone with her boss. And I'm getting down there and I poke at it and it's stiff. <laughs> Doesn't, it's stiff. <laughs> and, and, um... I'm just like keeping the dogs away and and I have a mess where it's at. Like a lot of craft stuff is piled up over there. Do I need to do the so, sides? You're just doing what you want to do. Whatever you want. Do you want the sides of yours done? Then you want the sides of mine done. <laughs> um so then we she gets off the phone. I'm like, lib, lib. No, it was like, lib, lib. Are, are you busy? Yeah. Do you have a few minutes? Yeah. Could you come here? Like, I'm trying not to sound panicked. Okay, so we have this. Totally deceitful. And it worked. No, we have this agreement in the house. Mm. That I do the poop and she does the dead animals. And we've, I mean, I've done my fair share of dead animals and she, when she's not around and, you know, if a dog gets a squirrel in the backyard, we used to have a Basinji and let me tell you, she caught a squirrel every other day sometimes. <laughs> and if Libby wasn't home, I'd have to go get it. So she never got them. She'd tell me as soon as I got home. No, I, I have, I have put them in the trash can outside. I have to, don't, don't. Anyway. I mean, I'm not even gonna. So anyway, no, uh, okay, and <laughs> I have two. <laughs> anyway, so back to my story. So she comes into the office, and I'm like, I have my flashlight on my phone, and I'm like, look. She's like, what? I'm like, look right there. Oh yeah, I'm like that's a dead mouse. Yeah, I'm like I poked it are you sure it's dead because I saw it move and that's what I said I saw it move out of the corner of my eye and that's what drew my attention to it but then it was dead so then I'm like did it just kill over but it's rigor mortis because I touched it with a stick and it's it's stiff <laughs> so, and it's it's in like kind of a dark little place on a, what is that? Like a little, a box that I store craft stuff in. So it's on a shelf on a box. So it's a little dark little cubby area. So, and it's like, you can see the tail and some legs, right? So what <laughs> Well, honestly, honestly, I thought it died with its eyes open. 
so then Libby's like, okay, I let me think about it. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so she she goes and takes care of business and then comes back in with the dustpan. I looked at it again first. Oh, okay. She looks at it again. I don't even remember. Comes back in with a dustpan and an old lady reacher, right? Aren't they like, like you, you squeeze it and it's on a stick and at the end it grabs things, but they're really- It's a grabber. Yeah, for like you can change light bulbs and grab things on the highest shelf and one of those things. If you're so inclined, someone's nose. <laughs> and so she's gonna touch it with that. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, and we make the agreement that I'm the one who's going to have to clean it, right? So we do that. and Because it's your crap. Yeah. My crap? The mouse is my crap? No, the stuff you have to clean. Which would have been the mouse? It was on your crap. <laughs> I will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Now, really, it's your story from so, here. So, Sue says she's going to throw up. <laughs> and she tells me, don't use that. And I looked at her, meaning don't use the grabber. And I said, well, how do you suggest I get this and we'll use the grabber? <laughs> so, I look down and it really does look... Uh, like a dead mouse is staring at me through beady dead eyes. And I reach in. Oh, God. And I have the dustpan and I'm reaching in and I get it only. It's not hard. It squishes and it turns over and it looks like the innards of a dead mouse. Like it had bled to death. Isn't that what it looked like? Well, you know those things that kids get that you can... Oh no, Sue, don't, we're telling a story. That you can throw at the wall and they like come down there, that sticky. That's what I thought of. You, you hate that texture. It's sticky and slimy. Yeah, that's what I thought of when I saw it. It looked like, it looked to me like internal bleeding. It was gross, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, 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 and I, and I keep grabbing it. Finally, I get a hold of it and I pull it out <laughs> and Sue's like doing this. And I'm gagging. And she's And gagging. I'm afraid you're going to go, because uh, yeah. you have that, that thing. Yeah, but I know, I, I like, I'm good. No, I, like, I know that would not go over well and that you would puke on the mouse and then I'd have to clean that <laughs> up because I made it because I made you puke. If you puked while I was getting it, that's different than waving it in your face puke. Okay, because it was so close. So anyway, I grab it and I go, what is this? But it's squishy. Mm. And I, and, and I pull it closer and I say, Sue, what is it? <laughs> it's a bag. It's like one of those jewelry bags with itty bitty turtles that my sister gave us. <laughs> I don't even know where the internal bleeding came from. I didn't see anything red. I don't know what I thought those, I don't know what the beady eyes, eyes were really. And I could have sworn it had ears and right? a tail. Well, maybe it had a tail because it was tied. Oh, the, yeah, it had the two. I saw legs and a tail. <laughs> I saw it all. It so it I, wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a mouse at all. And I say to Sue, I'm like, okay, I now, saw fur. Yeah, I, I saw it all. So I'm now I'm holding it because it's, I guess, decorating decorating turtles. Right? Yeah. And I and I don't see any red and I'm like Where did we get these? And Sue says, Your sister gave them to us on from one of her trips. 
What moves? <laughs> <laughs> Something moved out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Well, I couldn't answer that question, but I could have made a lot of stuff up, but I, but I didn't. No. And so, um, the, du the dustpan and the grabber went back to their assigned spaces and the turtles went in the yeah, turtle that my mother gave me for Christmas one year that's big and the show comes off and I put little turtles oh, that's in good. there. So I put it there. I don't know why they ended up in my... I don't, I don't either. What, I think you stole them. I don't know. I don't know what moved either. Well, I don't know how they got there. They flew. And that's what I saw out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> that was so Sue freaky, is though. so dramatic. But she downplays everything, and then it's hilarious when it's... When you call me out? <laughs> How often do you get to call me out? Not very often. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It is. That was very funny. Because I was so overly dramatic. <laughs> I, it was like, I have no gag reflex. reflex. Like, I have no control over my gag reflex like if something smells i'm like what <laughs> but she doesn't smell her own farts <laughs> when i had covid <laughs> so otis it's not food honey you're gonna end up green as the grinch if you're not careful actually you could be max <laughs> Little, little <laughs> branch on your head. <laughs> you want to try that? I mm. offered him the green. Mm. Oh, it, he kind of likes it. If he looks at you're in big trouble. <laughs> what is it? There's that nothing stuff? to lick. <laughs> yeah, but he'll keep coming back for more. It's, it's Otis. So does this? Oh, I think I just touched my nose. <laughs> Do I have on my nose? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, will it come off? I don't know. Well, we'll work on it. Okay. Shoot. I'm not very neat. All purpose. Oh, it's water based. Okay. Fast drying. Intermixable paint permanently adheres to most craft surfaces. <laughs> Permanently adheres to Sue's nose. <laughs> Are you a craft surface, Otis? Like that time you brushed against the wall after I painted it? Hmm? He did? Yeah, I remember he had it on his tail forever. Mm. Whoa. Mm. So I thought you could tell them the last story of the last two um, scooter stories. Scooter, scooter. I don't know what they are. Well, one is when I didn't come outside. I think you better tell but, it. Well, I don't know it. I wasn't there. <gasps> oh, <laughs> when you were working. Yeah. The other one I've been thinking in my head. Yeah, that one I don't know. Okay. I just thought you slammed the garage door. I was like, dang. So during the summer, I would scoot to the rec center to go to the pool. And I was coming home one day and I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what happens, but I get the accelerator and the brake mixed up, I think. Well, I watched it in person for the next story. So anyway. I agree. I'm not laughing. I agree. I, 
I pulled up to onto the onto the driveway and I was just getting a little bit settled to get off my scooter and instead of breaking all the way, I accelerated <laughs> right into the garage door. <laughs> I went down and the scooter immediately turns off. Thank goodness, emergency something turn emergency turn off. But it's I'm under it, <laughs> under it. And I'm like, okay, okay, now. And I cannot lift it, I cannot lift it. I cannot lift 250 pounds off of me on my back. So I started scooting out from underneath and then I could lift it up. And I'm like, why hasn't Sue come out yet? Cause I mean it. I hit the garage door kind of hard. I was kind of worried that maybe I kind of... <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> I was a bit worried that, you know, I had compacted my scooter. <laughs> but it was fine. So anyway, I'm like, gosh, Sue should be concerned about me. <laughs> I put this I put the scooter in the garage because it's an old wooden door, so it it didn't dent nothing. It just knocked me off the scooter, <laughs> and I come inside and Sue's Sue's in the back room working, and I come in and she's not on the phone. I say, "Did you hear anything? Did you hear that?" And she goes, "Yeah, I guess she. I guess um." You dropped the garage door, huh? Hmm? So, <laughs> I ran into the garage door. She goes, oh, what? I said, yeah, I ran into the, my scooter and I ran into the, and ran into the garage door. And she goes, oh, well, you look okay. <laughs> I said, are you okay? <laughs> she says, you look okay. <laughs> And I said, I am, my leg is just bleeding, but it wasn't bleeding very much. And that was it. That's that story. Right? You got to say how you got out from under it. I, I, to, I, I said you that. Shimmied. Oh, I, sh you I shimmied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Until I was all the way out, I could stand up and pick it up and put it in the garage and like really feel, um, neglected like no one <laughs> cared that I have a rack well when the garage door you have to like bring it down it is so heavy and it's one of those swing doors it's from the 50s so you just have to and it's so heavy but you have to bring it all the way down or it's just gonna bring the whole house down <laughs> it sounds like when you drop it and um I thought you just let go that's what I heard I didn't realize it was your body and your bike hitting it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't drop the garage door. No. I slammed into yeah. it. <laughs> but it, it sounded like it dropping. That's what I thought I heard. So, so the third story was on my birthday celebration. We went downtown to that festival. The Palestine. Palestine. It wasn't a festival. We thought it was supposed to be, but it ended up to be a remembrance, and it was really sad, but enjoyable. Sad, but enjoy, joy, educational, and enjoyable. I, I had some birthday money, and so I bought a purse and some soaps, and then. I said, when we come back, can we go to Trader Joe's? Because I hadn't been since before the, the pandemic. And I love Trader Joe's. And so we scoot, scoot downtown, go to this, um, what we thought was a festival. And then came back and stopped at Trader Joe's. And I had some birthday money left over. 
So I bought a few plants and we bought groceries. And we have our scooters, which we have big baskets on them now that we had just bought. And we had, oh, my plant lights must be 830. <laughs> um, and we had zip tied them on and, um, bungee and bungee corded them on. So we got the groceries. And we had three bags of groceries and three plants, I think. Yeah, three plants. And we, for some reason, put it all on your bike. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I just had one plant. I don't remember. But I think I was more comfortable squeezing it all together mm -hmm. in the one basket. So I squeezed it all together on her bike. And I'm following behind her and her basket is slowly going sideways. And I'm almost in tears. I'm screaming, stop, 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 stop. And I, my horn's broken. So it's going, <laughs> the more I honk it, the more pathetic it goes. It dies more and more as I, <laughs> So I'm trying to speed up, but she is crazy. She doesn't stop at stop signs. We've said this before because you don't have to in in Colorado on a scooter. You can just, if you don't see a car, you can go, you, you know, you can go through them. But I'm not comfortable doing that, so I will stop. But I'm trying to catch up to her. <laughs> so I'm... And my groceries are slowly, and my plants are slowly hanging off her bike sideways. Finally, I'm screaming and catching up to her, and she stops. And she's trying to fix it. And I'm like, no, 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 come on, let's just put it all in my basket. Let's just, please. <laughs> I'm like, look, look, let's just put it all in my basket. So we do. And... We go probably maybe a mile. Oh, I think we went about three, two or three blocks. Hand me the, I need to turn on the hot glue gun. Um, please, it's in the pink box. And um, she's scooting through a stop sign and there's a car. <laughs> and so she stops and goes and puts down her bike. But did you go down? You did. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because that's when you, yeah, you went down too. Because that's when I thought you were bleeding. But you must have landed in like Kool-Aid or something. I don't know. I don't know. But then she's trying to pick up her bike. And she hits the accelerator. <laughs> and her in the bike I'm screaming break break <laughs> and there is a guy in a car and he thinks you're drunk right because he says um, don't drink and drive oh yeah he said that he offered us help and he goes, that's why you don't drink and drive. Oh my, I gotta go get my glue gun. It's not in here. So he's like, that's why you don't drink and drive. Or something. Do you want help? And she's so embarrassed. She's like, no, no. And then we're trying for like five minutes to pick up your no, bike. No, I got it up. Oh yeah. No, break, you did break. it. No, that guy from a kitty corner from the house kitty no i corner. got i got up and then i i accidentally hit the accelerator again <laughs> start and it went down again yes because that's when my pants ripped you're right mm -hmm. and i'm gonna put a picture up here because i've saved the picture of her torn pants for this story oh. <laughs> and so now she hasn't ridden her scooter since. I have too. I rode it home. Home, yeah. 
Oh, oh, wait, listen. So when we, I fell the second time, I couldn't pick it. I don't know what was wrong. I couldn't pick it up. And another guy came I along. I couldn't help either. I couldn't. But remember that other guy came Yeah, along. the guy from the house yeah. came and got it up. And wanted to know if I was okay. Yeah, and was like, you're leaking gas. You're leaking gas. Yeah. <laughs> so then we checked it. Well, it when you fine. turn, turn. Turn your scooter on its side, it leaks a little gas. <laughs> Twice. Twice. <laughs> but I wasn't smoking, so there was no <laughs> fire. But thank goodness I had put all the groceries in my basket. <laughs> yeah. My plants. Your plants were fine. I know. Okay. In my basket. Thank goodness I did yeah. that. Thank goodness. Yeah. Because I ripped my pants. That was sad. Why? That was sad. Those, uh, my favorite is pants. So then, okay, so I get on, I get on my scooter <laughs> and Sue is gracious enough to say that I'm really good at, I'm quite resilient and if it was her we'd be going to the hospital which is true but i get on my scooter and i feel a breeze and i well wait because you hit your chin no i hit my head but i had my i had my we helmet had the good on. helmet on. yeah i was fine because it like dragged you head first <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't even barely have a scratch on you no i didn't i re ripped my pants yeah so i hop on i hop on i hop on my scooter and my mirrors are like <laughs> We spent forever. I'm like, no, no, I know how to fix it. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. <laughs> hmm. And what else is messed up? Is that it? Just your mirrors? Because I bought you new mirrors. Hmm. We just haven't put them on yet. I hope it's just the mirrors. Anyway, I got back on and I start to go and I can feel a breeze. And I look down and Sue's telling me my... My shorts are ripped, but she also mentioned <laughs> when I think it was it the handlebar that grabbed your, I don't know what grabbed your shorts. I bet it was you. But it grabbed them and Libby mooned me. I, I, I had unders on. Yeah, you had unders on, you're right. Good morning, everybody. I have been editing this video and it is getting really long. So I'm gonna make it a two-parter. We did not finish our crafts last night. So we do plan on finishing them up tonight anyway. So I will put part two of last night for today's video and then continue on. Um, but I am gonna do day six Advent with the puppers right now um, and include that in this video as well. So let's get that done. It's get Advent done. time. What day is it? It's Advent day. Hello? Cheek, <laughs> oh, it's, it's Advent. You're like, so what? Cheek's the only one who cares. Oh, 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 it's a big one. What's this? Oh, no. We never got the other toys from Emmett and Lane. What is this? Oh, <gasps> what is this? No, you have to share with Otis. You have to share with Otis. Otis, get it. Oh, oh, Otis. Okay, what can we get for you? Let's go get some carrots. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, Otis. Let's get your favorite Advent treat. I put some out this morning. Let's get your favorite little Advent treat. Oh, oh. is this your favorite Advent treat? Yeah. 
This is your favorite advent tree. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and Jake's coming for a little one. There we go. Happy Advent. <sighs> Alrighty. Happy Advent Day 6 on the Day 7. One week. Woo! Alrighty, guys. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.